Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KeepAdger.com, here to bring you a first look at a bunch of new stuff. What do I have? All kinds of cool stuff. For starters, brand new pistol. This is obviously new to me. Also, pretty new to the market as well. It is the SIG P320X Compact. So they have their full size, to include their X series, their full size, their carry, and then their compact. Their compact, I believe it is a 3.6 inch barrel, something like that. It says stop, do not operate, no. <clears throat> Don't ever tell me how to live my life. All right, that guy's gone. So, yeah, we got this guy. Haven't ever shot it see what it does and to go with that I also have this never used it before but it is for there's probably a really cool name for it I'm not sure what that name is but basically it is a appendix or not even appendix but in the waistband mag pouch by snake eater tactical elastic pretty much fit any magazine it looks like so I got that going on top of that Obviously you need a holster. So this came in the mail today from Black Point Tactical, which I believe is gonna be appendix in the waistband, hopefully for this pistol. Find out right now. Huh. Cool. So one with a sidecar oh. and a mag pouch. And then this one without. But since I already have this brand new mag pouch, mag carrier, and since I only have two magazines right now, I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a try. So behind me is the Bear Solutions Cold Start. I'm gonna jam this thing up, give it a go, first try. So for the cold start, Five yards is recommended, par time in nine seconds, but the loadout for it is gonna be one magazine of 10 rounds. Got some Minuteman munitions, 125 grain. So I'm gonna jam one magazine of 10 rounds and then another magazine of three rounds and kick this thing off. All right, just so happens this right here is five yards. There's my target. I, for the drill, need to put five round on the buzzer, five rounds in one of the squares, five rounds in the other, conduct a reload my last three rounds into the bear head right in the center of the target. So let's do this thing live. See what we got. 1403. I'm pretty sure the nine seconds is impossible. 1403. Probably a record time for me. Pretty much already failed in part. Right here, dropped around out. If it breaks the line, does it count, Drew? I don't know. Either way, honestly, that's probably indicative of my skills right here, right now. Cold starts are really good for just that. They basically show you not like how good you are when you knock the rust off, but like how good you are like straight out of the gate. And ultimately that was my first experience with this little guy. Looking forward to putting more time in with it. 
never shot this thing before this right here so whatever it is what it is but i yeah no i'm excited to put in more time with this to include the holster to include this appendix well keep saying appendix in the waistband mag holder by snake eater tactical so yeah as i get more time with all this stuff i will get back to you let you know how it's doing for me but as always thanks for joining us hold up my bad this is the appendix in the waistband holster while this is a in the waistband holster which i happen to draw from in the appendix position probably going to spend more time with this one because that's where i like to carry and after swapping this thing out real quick i'm like oh yeah like this prints way less but my bad reading is fun demental so i will be spending more time with this as well as this little guy and this which i need to get some more magazines for and yeah i'll get back to you but as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time One more time, not for reals, because the cold start has to be rain cold, but just because I'm curious. Can tell you I did not pass again. 11.8. And I dropped two out. And I've also realized I ride this with my thumb, which is why it's not locking back. I'm gonna have to work on that.